I am Alan from the Angular team, and I'm here to let you know what we've been working on with server-side rendering and hydration in Angular. Let's get started. Angular continues to innovate for its users by bringing modern, exciting updates to SSR in the framework. Today is no exception. In Angular version 18, we are launching some great new features. The first is enhanced DevTools support for hydration in Angular. Now, developers can visualize hydration information using Angular DevTools in the browser. With the Show Hydration Overlays button, you can clearly see which components are hydrated, which were skipped, and which encountered an error. The Components panel also shows a breakdown of what went wrong. It includes hydration errors to more easily identify how to fix them. We think you'll really enjoy this new feature. We are also happy to announce hydration support for all Angular Material components. You can now take advantage of performance benefits of hydration in your applications that use Angular Material components. These components will no longer be skipped during hydration. We have an update on a much requested feature. In version 18, we are adding hydration support for I18M blocks. This feature is in developer preview. Before I tell you more about what's coming in the future, there's one more feature I want to announce. Before an application is hydrated, users may interact with UI controls and as a developer, you don't want to lose those events. Well, as part of our ongoing collaboration with the WIS team at Google, we are announcing Event Replay, powered by JS Section. Events will be captured and replayed at the right time once the application is hydrated. Event Replay is now available in Developer Preview. Here's a glance at what we are working on next. We are working on providing out-of-the-box support for selecting a rendering mode for a given route. This means providing an easy hook for choosing which routes are rendered client-side, server-side, or at build time. We are also working on improving the SSG experience for parameterized routes. All right, that's it for me, but there's so much more to learn about in the latest release of Angular. So check out the Angular YouTube channel for more on what's in store. Now go and G-Update.